know. I'll try to get a good shot. Put it later. Alright, what's up guys? Nicholas Strickland, Strickland Spray Art. I'm here with my friend Joe, teaching him a little bit of spray art techniques. This one we're going to be showing how to make a mountain by taking away paint. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our base colors. I'm going to grab a light blue. You want to get a visual of where you want your mountain. In this case, we're going to put it more dead center than anything, maybe a little bit higher. So what you want to do is envision the tops of your mountains and put the blue where you want your mountains. And if you come down in a V, v shape, it's going to create that flow. All right, so start off, come down. Like that. And it's okay to go a little bit heavy towards the top. You don't have to come all the way down. And we're going to put more color on. Right, I'm going to borrow your blue real quick. I forgot mine. Now on top of that, you want the lower part of your mountain and kind of get the shadow. Oh yeah, you got a different blue. Okay. Okay. Don't go, try not to go too far down with that. That looks like a much lighter blue. Yeah. Now we'll give you know, more transition. And at the base of your mountain, and darker blue. Alright, so. a hair dryer is about the best thing. Excuse the noise. Okay. All right. And this is going to come in and not seal it completely, but it's going to seal your top layer a little faster. Oh, that should be about good. I'll throw it in the holster. All right, then you're going to take your black. covers the whole thing that's going to install it out it's going to it's going to blend some in anyway but you want to make sure wherever you want your mountains that you go a little bit inside of that or you're going to have like a gray sky behind the mountain more than anything all right so, so what you're going to do stuff like this just come in Don't put on, don't worry about cutting everything equally in the first pass. Alright, just come in and get your line, go above it, go above it, you know, and then once that's done, like now that I've done this, this is already pretty much dry in that amount of time. So you can come back and get those gap spots. And the sky is never perfect. So those little imperfection spots are going to add more character. All right. So come along your guys. Make sure you get your eggs good. And start filling around. Around where you want your mountain. And like I said, it's okay to go inside where you want it sometimes. It's going to blend a little bit anyway. 
and this atomic dust. And look at we just pose your board. I don't like being cheap with my painting, honestly. With cost material, I should say. Okay, way around poster board. Watching video tutorial videos when I was learning how to do this. I always watch people use poster board. And it seemed like a waste of your canvas to me. Guys, this is our canvas, the poster board, you know? And then, so you, you can only use this side. Do not use this side. <laughs> use this side, it will just absorb into it. It will be fucking terrible, man. All right, and these. Just bend it over, cut them into squares, bend them over like that. That way, that uh, waxed side is on both sides, and it creates little ripples in it. Gives you a little bit of texture as well. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's put some stars in it. We want to take them white. All right. Traditional technique is what we're learning right now. How do you make stars traditionally? Take the spray paint on your finger right here. And spray some on. You're gonna see a pool. Of, you can't see it on camera. It's white and white right now. But just flick it off the side once, and then put some force into it. Put your thumb. Put your thumb behind. Put all the pressure into it. Change of directions while doing it. It's really easy to get straight lines with that flip pattern. And also, change up your distances. Alright, now we've been letting our black sit for a while. So we need to bring it back to life. Such a Frankenstein style. And how are you going to do that? I wish I knew about this stuff. My first few paintings. I almost ruined my second one. Because I didn't know about gloss clear coat. Whenever the paint sets for a minute, it dries. You try to manipulate it while it's dry, it's not going to work. Cut this over, get some clear. Reactivate it. We're going to be working. All right. Okay. Let me show you. Come with me. It'll be all right. All right. All you're going to do is take this. Come along. Imagine where you want your mountain. Just follow the flow of it. Like that. There's a little bit too much pressure there. But it's all right. We'll fix it. That'll look right. See that? It creates those lines. Well, man, bring him down just a little bit more. 
All right, thanks. You come in, imagine. We'll just put one right here in front of them. Yeah, I'm doing like this. Right. Can't do that. And you'll notice as you do it, lines start appearing naturally, like the flow of landscape. All right? I'm gonna put one. And you can go back over. All right, now that I gave you an idea. Thank you. Oh, you wanted to do purple. My bad, dude. No, no, it's the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some purple down here like a mist. Right. I'm going to throw some purple in here like a mist. Okay. We can do that. I'll show you some color techniques. Some frogging techniques. All right. Okay. So now we got that all on. We're going to let that dry for a second while we're talking. It should do pretty much what we want it to do. Another good use for this. Honestly, I haven't used Coca-Cola brushes too much. We'll see how they do. Sometimes the ink will start to run, actually. And if you're using a lighter color, like we're just going to use white. If you put white onto red and red starts to run, your white becomes pink. Good. Create your little bowl like that. Right. You're going to take your white because you still have. Yeah. All right. This one, the last one we folded, if you remember, this one we want to get a little bit more precision with what we're doing. So we're going to leave this one as a single layer so it's nice and thin. Sometimes smaller is easier to start out with. I want to do the same thing. I want to get just a small strip, probably about the size of your finger. And you're going to spray your paint it into your little bowl here. Yeah. Spray your paint into your little bowl. Just like that. And you'll see start to pull up. I don't want to get it on my camera too much. So. All right. Once you got a nice little pull in there, it's going to dry pretty fast, so you're probably not going to be able to work with all of this. But putting on more will help you keep it active. Dip your little poster board into your paint, and then come back over and like the top highlights. Imagine 
snow or moonlight shining off your mountains. And you're just going to highlight everything. Not everything you'll see. And stuff like this, sometimes faster is better. And this is one of those times. I'm an avid mountain biker. And a lot of times to survive on the trail, you got to go fast. Same thing here to get your effect that you want. I hope you guys can see this. Get the effect that you want. I went against the flow of the mountain there. Really hard doing this with the camera in my hand. We'll come back over that one. Let that layer dry. That's one thing, if you get start messing up like that, don't get frustrated and keep working with it. You're just a lot of times going to make it worse. Just let it dry for a second. That way you're not putting wet on wet, causing more problems. Alright. So I guess this is really hard to do with one hand, but trying to give you an idea of what I'm actually doing here. Can, are you watching? Yeah. Okay. You're like, no. <laughs> Just make your video, dude. No, I've been watching it. Oh, we're going to work that purple in, buddy. I got an idea. Go ahead and highlight everything with the white. Just the corner. Yeah. And instead of going back at that, I'm going to come back here, put some down on this guy, take some of that. Because a lot of times when you're doing this, the mountains will make themselves if you let them. Just let it fall. Just let the paint fall. Going that in a little bit there. Smooth it out. With those lines. All right, guys, didn't miss much. We just uh, gonna add some purple to it, if you remember. All right, take purple, just like with your white. Take that, and we're just gonna do it on one side of the mountain. Imagine the light shining down from one side. Imagine where the light would fall, where it wouldn't fall. You can see a little lines created in the mountain already. Try to follow those lines. Go fast, it's better. But this. You don't have 
go too crazy with it. Just a little bit will stand out. Alright. Okay, so we're going to go with the easiest way to make her a foggy effect. What color? Your white. And start off with white. If you want to add more color to it, you can. Because if you put that down, it wouldn't it would blend in from it, especially if it's a darker color. So Real quick, uh, just wipe it across. You're not going to get too close. Right. And come down where we want it. And probably, I'd say kind of like a V effect coming into it. Probably. I'm going to come around this side. Like that. And see how it's breaking up, you know? And I'm gonna come in from this side. Same thing. Yeah. And have it kind of flow together in the mix. Alright, now grab the colors that you want to add into it. If you want to add any, like right now. Okay, here's what I got going on here. You can see, doesn't look bad with the white. So we can make it pop a little more. I'm going to come in with the darker blue first on the bottom. Same thing, don't get too close or go too slow. Just gonna swipe it over. Seal it with glass cut. Can't get evenly. Oh, that doesn't take too much. We're going to line the seat. Yep, all covered. Okay. Last thing you do, sign your artwork. Good shot. Put it in the It gives the idea. Alright. Hopefully this video has taught you something or at least you enjoyed watching it. Alright. Thank you.
Yeah, have a good one.